Hi, this is Katie and my channel is Move for the Middle. And I wanted to share this story of something that happened to me two days ago. And it's just another like frustrating obstacle that happens to the working class. Another thing that just takes time away and just another thing that you just don't need on your plate. But not a huge deal, but just super annoying. So the other day I'm trying to do my stretches on my, like my backlog and I have to time it for five minutes and I lay out on it and it's supposed to help with my spine and open everything up. It's supposed to be good for me. So I am fighting with Suri on my watch, trying to get her to set a timer. And as I'm doing that, a call comes through and it is, um, this is four in the morning. So I accidentally answered this phone call. So I realized they know my first and last name and they know I'm with AT&T and they're trying to say there's something fraudulent happened. They want me to enter some information. So I immediately hang up. After I hang up, I start receiving calls just back to back to back to back. And they go on for several hours, like basically up to almost 100 to 150 calls. Like it was nonstop, like just nonstop. So I had to get off, get ready for work, get off to work, you know, do all that, get to the gym and stuff. So I get to work, take a break. I try to call AT&T because I'm going to see if they can put a blocker or something like this on these spam calls that I'm getting because they're also texting and um, leaving voicemails. And they're also blowing up my wife's phone, who is on my same policy. So after 30 minutes of trying to get a hold of somebody, I finally get a hold of a representative. Well, the representative, of course, um, there's a language barrier because most of these jobs are outsourced in you know, other countries. Uh, nice guy, but just hard time understanding. And I'm already frustrated because even while I'm on hold and trying to get a hold of somebody, I'm still getting these spam calls that are not stopping. And I'm on like three plus hours of this like constant harassment. So I finally get a hold of a guy and you know, again, we're trying to work through the language barrier and he's trying to explain, but basically he does inform me that part of at and service is, you know, they're supposed to be automatically blocking spam calls. Now you would think if that was the case after maybe I got like 20 back to back, like something would have kicked in. But anyways, he says he'll get in the system and he's going to rectify this and make sure this doesn't happen anymore. In the process, he keeps telling me about how this could not happen again if I had a certain like insurance policy, right? So I asked him several times, I'm like, but it is free that I shouldn't be getting this and you guys can rectify this and, and fix this problem. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, but you know, you'd really be better off on all your devices if you would get this insurance. And I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking, I'm so frustrated, it took me forever to get a hold of you guys. And now I'm in a situation where I'm trying to get upsell, which how many times has that happened? Like something that's happening to you that you're trying to fix that shouldn't have been happening in the first place by a big business or whatever, like they're finding an opportunity to still capitalize, which then makes me wonder, like, did they start this rabbit hole that I'm currently down? I don't know, but I'm frustrated. So I cannot get off the phone with him and verify that this spam situation is going to be, you know, like taken care of because he keeps trying to sell me this thing. Then he tells me I can cancel any time. So I'm like, sweet, I got to get back to work. Like, let's cancel. I said, let's go ahead and do it just to get him done. And I wanted to make sure the spam thing was taken care of. And I finally get off the phone after dealing with 40 minutes of this and, you know, three to four hours of spam calls. And I realize, I'm like, how did I just get double screwed? Like, did AT&T get one like over on me? Because they should have already been preventing this. I had to call them. In that call, I increased my bill by $25. And what's so crazy is you know how hard it is to get an adjustment on your any type of your bills. It takes like forever for them to process it. Within like five minutes, I get a text from my wife saying, hey, did our bill go up $25? Like it was like that. They made sure that they had their money. Anyway, so he tells me as we're getting off the phone that he's going to call me the following day, which was yesterday to confirm that all my spam stuff had been taken care of. And he wants to make sure I'm a happy AT&T customer. So all day yesterday, did I receive one phone call? No. And have I stopped receiving spam calls? No. Have they reduced? Yes. But I'm still sitting at about probably about 20 25 to 30 like spam calls since that conversation. So it has drastically reduced, but I'm still having them. And I'm also paying $25 more a month, which I will be also canceling that service. But I just had to share because it's like this stuff happens to all of us and it's so frustrating and it leaves you scratching your head because you're so overwhelmed and inundated. Like you're kind of blindsided and then you get so flustered, but it's like, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, it's just nuts how stuff works out. But anyways, I just wanted to share. I got to get back to work and get off to the grind. So take care.